I just saw a video by Son is the Father of Man in which he accuses, like he often does, like many Christians often do, he accuses atheists of having as much faith as Christians do. He says that to not believe in a God is a position of faith and is a positive position that has to be proven. If to believe and to not believe are both positive positions that must be proven and neither of them can be proven, then neither one can be true or held as true, but one of them has to be true. A God has to either exist or not exist. Those are the only two ways it can be, and it has to be one of them. But the way he talks, he says it can't really be either one. Or he's just trying to invalidate the atheist perspective, meaning he doesn't actually respect it. And it's pretty clear from many of his videos that he doesn't respect the atheist perspective. But isn't that the way of religion? To not respect opposing viewpoints? Faith is a positive position. It is, it is an assertion that something is true. Atheism is, by definition, a negative position. It is the non-belief in a god or gods. Not the belief that a god or gods do not exist. Well, I will, I'll back up a little bit on that. There might be some atheists who do take that as a positive position. And they might take up the, uh, the task of proving that a god doesn't exist. Maybe it's possible. I will say this. If you have two gods, and one of them existing means the other does not, that right there is positive proof that one of these particular gods does not exist. It's possible still for neither of them to exist. But that can't exactly be proven. But if you have a choice between two gods whose existence uh, forbids the other, then that proves logically that one of them doesn't exist. My position, however, as an atheist and the position of any other sensible atheist is that if there is no proof that something exists, we do not believe that it does. You see, what Son, what, uh, son is the Father of Man is saying here is exactly what I've been saying for quite a while now, and that's that faith is an invalid reason for believing in anything. Because it's belief without proof. If he thinks that the absence of evidence in God's non-existence means that you shouldn't believe in it, then he should also believe that the lack of evidence against his existence I mean, the absence of evidence for his existence means that you shouldn't believe that he does. So he doesn't think you should believe in either one. You shouldn't take either position. But you can only be either a theist or an atheist. You can't be both, and you can't be neither. Everyone in the world, from a newborn to a person on his deathbed, even dead people, rocks and trees, objects, they are all either atheists or theists. A rock doesn't have a brain to make any decisions, therefore it cannot possibly believe in a god. That makes it an atheist. It's not making a positive claim. 
It has nothing to prove. So why then do atheists argue against something that we don't believe? Well, why would we argue in favor of something that we do believe? Why would we try and convince somebody of something that we don't even believe? It doesn't make any sense. Why do we bother debating with theists? Well, for one, we think they're wrong. They put out a message in public, and so we argue with them because we disagree. I mean, that's our right. If you put a uh, message out in public, you're opening it up to criticism. You're opening yourself up to criticism. You have to accept that. You can't just dismiss it like Son of the Father of Man is trying to do. He would love to believe that all atheists actually believe in his God. Wouldn't that be great? It would mean that no one disagrees with them. But guess what? Many of us do disagree with you. As difficult as it is for you to understand, we don't think your God exists, and we don't think that you should believe he exists either. But why? Why do we care? Why is it any of our business whether or not you believe in a magical sky daddy, whether or not you have an imaginary friend? Well, maybe we care about you. Maybe when we see somebody who is suffering from a mental disorder, we want to reach out and help them. Maybe we think that the cure for this mental disorder of faith is to try and convince you that the figment of your imagination isn't real. I used to be a Christian, and I believed everything I was told, but then I turned 16 and I started to question it, and I stopped believing everything I was told. Because I realized that many of the things that I was told that I believed as a child were lies. Like Santa Claus, like a lot of other little things that I was told, Tooth Fairy. I was told when I was uh, probably about five or six that if you went into one of the fountains at the mall, you know, malls have fountains sometimes, it would suck you up into the sewer and you'd, get, and you'd get eaten by alligators. I believed it because someone who I trusted told me it would happen. To take a positive position on anything requires a reason. Nobody believes anything for no reason. Nothing ever happens for no reason. There is an explanation for the beliefs of every theist and every atheist. And there's a reason for the non-beliefs of every atheist and every theist. Believe it or not, most atheists, all atheists and theists, agree on more than we disagree. We don't generally believe in Thor, although there may be some who do. We don't believe in Nuck Nuck, the god of uh, the, the, t the hair at the very tip of a squirrel's tail. I said squirrel because I just saw one. And why don't we believe in this? Well, it's because there's no evidence for it. And because no one ever conceived of it until me just now. But now that I've said it, you have heard of it, and if you don't believe in them, and you go to hell because of it, it won't be because you've never heard of it. You no longer have ignorance as an excuse to disbelieve in Nuck Nuck, the god of the hair at the very end of a squirrel's tail. Now there is no reason to believe in this god, but if it makes you feel good, you could. You could take a leap of faith and believe in him. 
I can make up anything I want about him and tell you it's true. And you could ask me how I know, and I can say, I don't know, I have faith. Faith has to be justified. But faith, by definition, is unjustified. It is therefore invalid. If you claim that faith is your reason for believing anything, you are admitting openly that you have no valid basis for this belief and that you know better than to have it. You should let it go and you know it. It's not healthy.